Welcome back to my channel, my friend. Why am I making it creepy? It's just me. I'm just being really creepy. I'm just gonna start, because you know what? I'm really hungry. Also, my boobs are growing. Can't explain it. In the last two months, they've just, it's enough for Mario to have noticed. I can get my hair cut, do a tan. The boobs grow a little bit. No. Now we get his head turning. That's not fair. <laughs> Oops. We're making matcha pancakes. A lot of people are into matcha because like the health benefits and, and everything like that. But I I just love how it tastes. That's my health benefit right there. What specifically do you want me to put in your pancakes? Oh, can you do um I really like Not your best. <laughs> do you want the truth? What do you want? Something about it is weak. If it was a restaurant, I would hold back and You send it back. <laughs> if it's not sweet, I send it back. If it's not your best, I send it back. Try? Better. You send it back? I keep it but reluctantly, that's the truth. Okay, then send it back. <sighs> Something's off. Yeah, that's the one. She basically just needed sugar in it. Oh! I had nine hours of sleep last night and I'm feeling... I'm feeling buzzed. This yeah. t-shirt is literally matte for pancakes. Oh, you thought these were just bananas, but they're also on his toe. <laughs> this is the most effort we're gonna make the entire week for food, I feel like. I can guarantee you that now. Or get your money back. <laughs> if we make this much effort one more time in this video. You get your money back. Today is a Saturday, so I have a little bit more time to make some pancakes. If you're expecting every meal to be like this, let's just drop it. <sighs> Wow. That is not getting sent back. Magic pancakes complete. We're going to the gym. Today I'm training with soccer mum, circa 1977. I think I'm more of a soccer dad. Soccer dad is my fashion inspo. They've got the best jackets, they've got the best short length, and the best sock length as well. to lose fat or build muscle I'm literally just trying to maintain learn some new skills and that means that with food as well that I'm not really trying to hit a particular goal I'm literally just listening to my internal hunger cues so I eat when I'm hungry stop when I'm full but some days I'm not as hungry some days I'm way more hungry I just go with the flow and that means that over the course of a week or a month that can really change and there's fluctuation there. If you're new, I don't really track what I eat, but I am gonna be doing it in this video because I feel like it can be really helpful to have that data and you can really see the differences day to day. We've got a bit of a code red situation right now. A friend's texted us saying that their friend's dog needs to be taken out for a walk. So the dog is a friend of a friend's. If there's a dog that needs walking, I'm gonna be there, <laughs> okay? So I need a quick lunch. I'm gonna be doing these Greek yogurt flatbreads Two ingredients, flour, Greek yogurt. That's it. The drama. All my babies can relate. <laughs> should have tied my hair up. I should have worn a different outfit. This is one of those recipes where you just, you can't go wrong. Like you can't. 
unless you're my dad. But you guys are not my dad. That's it, you did it. Baker's Hall. <laughs> Doe Flex. These are smelling good. Round two. Let's go. A dog needs to be taken out for a walk. I will find you. And I will walk you. <laughs> Dog has had a snack. Now it's my time to have a snack. We've lost him. He's watching the football. Show him. Oh, is it Manchester City? Oh, can on Liverpool. Daisy, is that voice? <laughs> Were you talking then? Yeah, I was literally talking to you. Oh, sorry, what, what was it? <laughs> I didn't say anything, no <laughs> I came across this jumper the other day from this company called House of Sunny. I love the design, love the colours. We could work on the fit. Basically, I'm just trying to recreate those like vintage 90s jumpers because I just find them so nice, but it's really hard to find them. So essentially, I'm gonna cut the hem so that the hem is about 20 centimeters shorter so that it allows this bottom part of the jumper to ruche together and gather. Tonight, the boys are making dinner while our ladies sew. Where is she? You're not really cooking though, are you? You're just putting things together. You're really gonna <laughs> me like that? <laughs> while our ladies sew, Boys, we cook. Good job, great job. Good job or great job? Great job. This is miso honey tuna salad. To all the boyfriends out there, to all the partners, he's done you proud. I ended up working on it until basically like midnight, but I'm really happy with it. We're heading off to the gym now. I know we haven't had breakfast. That's because we've got brunch at 11 o'clock. We were supposed to be going with Caitlin, but I haven't heard from Caitlin. So I'm guessing she had a really good night. Caitlin is no longer with us. <laughs> we're gonna go for brunch still, but we're gonna go to the gym before. Not feeling too hungry, but I am gonna have something. And at the gym, they make these breakfast cookies that are just, we all know what happens when I train fasted. You won't <laughs> like me when I'm fasted. <laughs> Parsley, hints of curiosity, a touch of envy. I can taste it all. That jumper though. I just know that I'm gonna need more. So this is my first round. Let's call it the starter. I told you I'd order more. Oh, hi. Caitlin, this second breakfast is for you.
Wow, we need to clean our hall, but also loving this jumper. I'm trying to give you all the angles. <laughs> all the context. You're baking at home. You're playing tennis. You're a tiger. <laughs> You're reading the news. <laughs> it still looks good. Apparently there's a market near ours which we've never been to before. Friends and people just keep telling us that it's really good. So now we're going to test it out for ourselves. The first stall in the entire market, and guess what it is? Let's explore, but at the end of the day, I know that I'm coming back. We've looked through the market, and now we're ready to commit to cross town. There's no debate. Oh wow, that does, wow. Oh, wow. Let's put these back on, shall we? <laughs> right, so we've got lime and coconut, cross town donut. We've hit the pot of gold. Is that lime or coconut? Coconut. Hmm. That's really good. Fascinating. As she approaches her donut and the young female prepares to pounce. Her fangs revealed, her back arched. <laughs> this is going down efficiently. I want you to try it. This is now mine because I've moved on to better things. <laughs> it's not bad. But it's not good. Have, have, have. Look, just enjoy. We're going to have an early dinner because to be honest, I just feel really hungry today. So I'm going to do a mac and cheese with a little twist because I'm going to be using this Eat Lean cheese, which basically just has like higher amounts of protein in it to kind of make it a little bit more balanced. But I'm not going to do all of it because mac and cheese has to be tasty. That's rule number one with mac and cheese. I don't have a microwave, so I have to do this the more manual and we can say authentic way. This is how they did it in like the 1600s. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is the Eat Lean protein cheese. That is exactly the sound it should be making. Yeah. Some veg. Can I just say? Damn. <laughs> Damn. Can you believe there's a parallel universe somewhere where you don't know how to make this? Nope. Even I had some and I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> Mario's going out for dinner with some friends and um... Oops. <laughs> okay, I think I'm done. Today was definitely one of those days where I just felt hungry and I just kind of went with it. And it's definitely towards the upper end of my caloric range. Like that's probably around 2,800, maybe 3,000 calories. There are some days where I want to eat more, some days where I want to eat less and I just... I just listen to my body. For me, as long as I'm having fun with my workouts and I'm feeling good, then I'm good. <laughs> I'm going into London today. I've got a bunch of meetings and I want to have a really quick breakfast. So I'm going to have cereal. I've got two options and I'm going to have both options. I'm starting off on this and then finishing off with this. in a jar. Okay, this is my outfit for today. I'm ready for London. 
I actually found this top. This is such a cute top from Lululemon. And actually, that leads me on to saying that this whole video is sponsored by Lululemon. You guys are looking at your newest Lululemon ambassador, which is me, by the way. And I genuinely feel like no one makes active wear like Lululemon. No one makes active wear long lasting and timeless like, as good as Lululemon do. Oh, I've got pieces that are six years old that still look fresh as ever. So all of my workout pieces from this week are from Lululemon. Even some of my non-workout pieces are from Lululemon. And I think we have the same vision on what health and fitness should be. I think health and fitness at their core are scientific disciplines, but I feel like the science is often underrepresented. I just feel like science is finally getting the attention that it deserves. And I think we're moving in the right direction. And I hope you guys feel that way as well, because this whole channel is for you guys. So today I've got a few meetings in London. I'm just gonna grab myself some lunch and I've got about an hour or two in between where I'm just gonna be researching for my next YouTube video. A passion fruit kombucha, a spicy tuna roll, and then two chicken and spring onion gyoza peppers. Matcha latte and a matcha laptop. I'm actually not feeling super hungry tonight because I've just been eating throughout the day. So I've done myself a light dinner of fish tacos and I've put a little bit of like red cabbage on there, some avocado, some Greek yogurt mixed with lime and then some additional lime. Cheers my friends. Oh wowza, no one's gonna miss you. I'm like a multi-coloured zebra. <laughs> and also, no one's gonna miss you. To be fair, this is 50-50. This is half me, half Natasha. We're both to blame. But it's 70-30. 70, 30. 70. 70, 50, 10, 40. <laughs> I'm kind of in a rush this morning. I've got work to do, but I want to go to the gym early just to knock it out. The word of the day is speed. This is the thickest shake I've ever made. It's the soya. It's like a brick. It's the soya protein. The thing is, it keeps getting thicker. So that was my workout. It was about 45 minutes full body workout. I thought I'd just knock it out because the rest of the day I'm just going to be sat at home and I'm going to be working. Mmm. Come on, say it. Mm. I love the taste. I'm not loving the experience. <sighs> okay, you also have another one. completely honest with you guys I don't feel that hungry today but the one thing I do when I don't feel that hungry is I still make sure I eat I don't force feed myself but I just make sure that I have enough energy around at least 2,000 calories just to make sure that in a couple days time I don't crash I just finished my last book and now I'm reading how to crack puzzles <laughs> Plums.
station is Green Park. So we're back in London today. Today I'm working with Mario. We're Hi. tag teaming it. Um, we've got some clients here in Victoria, so we're just going to grab some lunch, but it is sweltering. Smoking. Chunky corgi. Why are they so cute? They're cute because of their butts. Show, show the butt. Okay, I'll show the butt. <laughs> That's a cute butt. So we've been in meetings for most of the day. Are you yawning? <laughs> and we're both quite tired, so we're just going to grab something super easy. It's just a really simple prosciutto, tomato, cheese sandwich. I made myself some Greek yogurt mess. Basically just chop up some strawberries, put in a little bit of Greek yogurt, and there's raspberries as well, and a little bit of sugar as well. Keeping it a touch sweet. You couldn't find a smaller spoon then? I just have a thing for small bowls and small spoons. We've made a Greek out of her. Natasha Papastatopoulos. I'd say the most Greek thing about this meal is the portion size. <laughs> if I've learnt one thing about Greek cooking, don't skimp out on the portion. Oh my God, it's so good. I want to have some hummus as a snack, but I want to find a cute little bowl. This isn't cute enough. Cuter. Okay. This? Cuter. Another colour. You didn't even see it! Cuter. You didn't even see it. That's cute, but that doesn't really say hummus to me. For the carrots, I'm going to put them in this little bowl that my best friend Ilalia gave to me for my birthday. That is a cute little work snack. That's making me want to work all night long. All night long. All night long. Gonna eat later, but mm. I think we're convincing him. Mm. Mm. Okay, we get it, we're Crisis averted. Crisis averted, yeah. Bob, what have you done? I'm fine. <laughs> hmm. Nothing gets in the way of chess day. That's so not true. <laughs> but it looks true. <laughs> ourselves right in the middle of a film set. Should we just stay? Should we just be extras? <laughs> yeah. They got me. They got me good. Oh. You're okay. 
Okay, I'm back. Stay with me now. I need a full pressure on the wound. Blood loss at 40%. 40%? Stop we it. had fun. We're not gonna lose him. I'm back in business, baby. I had these two days ago. What can I say? I'm a fan. We've reached maximum capacity on the plate. This is part one, second part in there, staying warm. I don't want to kick tonight. <laughs> I've been trying to quit my Nando's. I don't want to look at it. I don't want to look at it. I couldn't be bothered to kick tonight. So I've got a double chicken pitta, which means I've got two chicken breasts inside a pitta bread um, with some coleslaw in there, extra coleslaw, and then a corn on the cob. And I always add burger sauce. And that's their only theme song. It haunts me. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah, do your cute shot over the mess. So, here, here, nice toolbox here. It's so cute. <laughs> Right, we've come to the end of the week. I've crunched the numbers. I've gone through it with a mathematician. I haven't, actually. <laughs> I've just, I've tracked it on my fitness pal, okay? I don't track anymore. I think you guys already know that. I do it for these videos because I think it can be really helpful. But if you guys track, that's fine. I think sometimes, depending on what goal you have, or if you're trying to learn about macros, or you're trying to learn about foods and portions, it can be really helpful. It's just personally, I don't do it and I just listen to my hunger cues, especially when I'm maintaining and just trying to learn new skills. So you guys can see, I've been quite diligent with my tracking, even to the point where there was once I had a bite of Mario's Crosstown Donut, I tracked it. So this is how my calories vary through the week. That gives us an average of 2,435 calories. And the activity I did this week was pretty average. I trained four times a week, which is what I usually do. And I had a little bit of light activity when I went to the market and I took a dog for a walk. In terms of the range, on Sunday I had 2,800 calories. And then on Tuesday I had 2,100 calories. And that's quite typical for me. I mean, I'm not working towards building muscle or losing fat. In those cases, I think it can be helpful to be slightly more mechanical with your approach to food, but I'm just trying to enjoy my workouts and build athleticism and increase my fitness. So that's very average for me. Now in terms of rest days, and I get asked about rest days a lot, my average caloric intake was about 2,350 calories, and I'm not intentionally trying to do anything different just because it's a rest day. The main thing I like these videos for is because I get to show you guys how different my food intake is every day. I know we've been used to seeing people who meal prep and they eat the same amount of foods, the same foods and meals day in, day out. That's just not my approach. Food is my fuel and I wanna make sure I have the right amount of energy to keep developing in my workouts and also to fuel the other work that I do. So for me, it's more important just to listen to my energy levels and my hunger cues rather than try and predict my energy requirements and assume that they're fixed 
every single day. And when you look at the science, it's crazy how many variables impact our hunger cues and our satiety levels. I mean, to start off with, we've got our hormone profile, which itself is impacted by our sleep patterns, where we are in our menstrual cycle, and our past energy balances. Then there's also our current activity levels, our stress levels, our food environment, social events, moments that you want to take part in. Each of these variables can change daily, or weekly and I think it's just helpful to be really aware of that and that's why I allow myself not to get distracted by those day-to-day -day variables and just keep my eye on the prize and the prize is living life fully and having the energy to do it and that's it so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a big thumbs up if you did. Hit the subscribe button to join our incredible family and I will see you guys very soon. I love you. Bye.